Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sarah and I make a video pretty much every week about beauty, makeup, lifestyle, those types of things. And so for today's video, I wanted to do a small makeup collection declutter. I think it's important to kind of go through your makeup collection maybe like once a quarter or maybe less often depending on how much you have, maybe once or twice a year, just to kind of make sure that you're using everything that you have, you like everything that you have, and things aren't taking up space. And particularly today, I decluttered a few items in my makeup collection that were definitely well past their expiration dates and the time span where it probably is not a super great idea to be using them on my face or near my eyes anymore. So before we get into the actual makeup declutter, I wanted to share a few other things that I decluttered that are kind of makeup related, makeup adjacent, and that is some cosmetics travel bags. So recently during Amazon Prime Days, which I'm not trying to say you should always buy things on Amazon or that they're the best deals, or not, I don't want to encourage anyone to spend money that they don't need to spend, but I did see that this makeup travel case or like cosmetics travel case was part of an Amazon Prime deal. I think a lot of us have been seeing this style of makeup case all over Instagram recently. It's the kind that zippers up kind of diagonally, but then when you open it, it kind of lays flat and is a pretty big inside. So this was something I just wanted to get for myself just because I knew I had a couple of trips coming up and I thought it would be nice to have everything just kind of fit in one bag. And I can say it definitely did. I was able to fit all my makeup, my makeup brushes, and then like some of my other toiletry items like my hairbrush and like toothbrush and toothpaste things all in here and it all stayed together. It all stayed separated within the compartments, even when you fold it up and zipper, and it just took up less room than some of my other bags. So because of that, I was like, I don't need to have all these other like travel, makeup and cosmetic toiletry things anymore. So I think I can get rid of, or at least donate a few of them. So I was able to go from having about five or six different little bags for things to the one. And I will say I did also, um, it wasn't a, I don't know if it was part of Prime Day or not, but I did, also order the like, I'll insert a picture here, the like silicone brush travel cases. I don't have them yet. They're on their way to be delivered. Otherwise I would show them, but I got two of those, one for eye brushes, one for face brushes. So then those will go in here as well. Last time I traveled, I just had them kind of floating around, but if you want something to protect them, those are great and pretty affordable on Amazon as well. So because of that, I decided to declutter this brush bag. I had had this for a while. You can see it's pretty dirty. It's just a cheap little makeup bag. And honestly, like it's kind of compact, but it's not at the same time because of how, how much this can expand at the bottom. So it wasn't quite as like flat and compact as I wanted. And this was just like a cheap one that I got like free with purchase for something at some store near me. So I'm fine to kind of pass this on and don't need it anymore now that I'll have those much sleeker, smaller, makeup brush cases. The other bag that I was using for my makeup a lot of times when I travel is this really old Clinique bag. This was like a free gift with purchase one day. I mean, it's like ripping. The zipper still kind of works, but it's just, you know, it's pretty gross on the inside and it's just, it's lived its life. So it's nice to be able to kind of get rid of this and just use the one bigger bag now that fits more stuff than this. Similarly, I had this case which is really cute it's still i'm gonna donate this because this is still really nice but this i would use more for like my skincare and stuff but i have found that it just doesn't really fit the way that i want things to fit it does have plastic so if things spill it doesn't totally seep through and it's got this little like mesh thing which honestly is kind of useless to me and then a zipper pouch back here which also i don't ever really use so i'm just ready to pass this on someone can maybe have better use from it but I just didn't feel like I needed to keep this anymore I also just had this really old it's similar to the makeup brush case I have it's just like really old plasticky bag I don't even think this is like technically TSA compliant but it's just kind of old and not really good quality so I'm gonna toss this don't need that anymore for travel and then I had this like bigger case with the handle which again is cute but this is super old the like zipper ties have broken off so it's kind of hard to get it zipped and unzipped and it did hold a lot of stuff like it probably holds almost the same amount of stuff as the white one it's just a different shape 
and I just felt like this one kind of kept things a little more compact and then this fits better in a suitcase or a backpack and just is easier for me to carry. So that was kind of a lot of things, but I think it feels really good to be parting ways with, what is this, five bags, five different little bags and just kind of get these out. That's something that I feel like a lot of people struggle with is like you just have all these little bags and compartments and things everywhere. And honestly, I just kind of was like, these are taking up space. I don't use them all when I travel. I really only use a few of them. And now that I've gotten this case, which I think is just a little more efficient for me, I can get rid of some other things and kind of minimize that area of my closet. So with all that being said, the makeup storage, you know, traveling section taken care of, let's jump into my actual makeup collection and declutter some things from there. All right, so we are back at my drawers. If you've watched any of my Shop My Stash videos, you know that this is my set of Alex drawers from Ikea where I keep all my makeup. This top drawer is my everyday makeup drawer. I'm not going to get rid of anything in there because I am enjoying pretty much everything that I'm currently using and don't want to get rid of any of it. So if you want to see what's in my current everyday makeup drawer, I will link my Shop My Stash video below, my most recent one. So my next drawer is my eyeshadow palette drawer and then in the very back I have a little bit of extra skincare items. So I'm not going to be getting rid of any of my skincare items because I do want both of those Neutrogena things as backup, or one's Neutrogena and one's e.l.f. I want both of those as backup moisturizers. But I do think there are a couple eyeshadow palettes that I am ready to part ways with. The first one, which I had talked about in a Shop My Stash video a couple months ago, is this one, the Tarte Aspen Ovard palette. I absolutely love this packaging. I also loved this palette for the many years that I had it and used it, but it's just kind of at the time where the glitters are not good and I don't think safe to put on my eyes. I tried to use it a couple times a few months ago and the glitter just like, it's so dry and flaky and was like irritating my eyes. So I'm kind of like, well, I shouldn't be putting any of this near my eyes anymore. So I think it's just time to let go of this for my collection, which is sad because, I mean, it looks kind of boring just holding it here, but it was a really nice everyday makeup palette um, that just had a lot of, you know, the glitters were nice when they were good, the neutrals, it was a good range of those, but I think it's just time to let this go. So the other palette that I think I'm ready to part ways with, oh, you can't really see it back here, it's this Gen Nude Rose Eyeshadow Palette from Bare Minerals. Again, this is... It's a pretty palette. It's just, it's kind of like a cooler pink neutral palette, but like I just find that myself that like I don't really ever reach for these. They're kind of almost too dark for me and I don't like the gray like undertone of these colors. I, I think on my eyes, if my skin tone, it just kind of ends up looking too much like a bruise or like you're, you've got some dirt on your eye. I don't know. It just, they don't quite work for me. The shimmers are okay, nothing that blows my mind, and then these two colors are honestly so similar and I never reach for them. So this is a palette I'm going to pass on. I think I might see if my mom would want to try this out and use it, um, but I have not reached for it in many, many, many months, probably over a year. So in my mind, that means that it's time to just pass this on and focus on using the things that I do want to use. All right, so in terms of eyeshadow palettes, I think that's it. I still like everything else in here. I've got all my ABH uh, palettes over here. The Naked Basics, I like to keep around just to have all those matte neutrals. And some of these Sigma palettes over here are newer to me. And then I've got my Natasha Denona and my Elf quads, which I love. So I'm going to keep everything else in here. But getting rid of two palettes, I think, is pretty good for now. This is the bottom drawer of my makeup collection. If you've seen any of my Shop My Stash videos, you know this is where the bulk of my makeup lives. It looks pretty chaotic right now, which is also why I wanted to kind of do a little declutter. So let's go through some of these items and I think there's at least one or two things that I'm ready to part ways with. The first item is this Natasha Denona Rose Cheek Duo. I talked about this, I think, in my most recent Shop My Stash video. I can't remember, but 
It's just this mini little palette with a blush and a highlight. I got this like super on sale around Christmas time. I think this was like $10 or less. So I just wanted to try it out. But now that I have it, I find that the blush formula I don't really like. It's like a, I think it's supposed to be like a cream to powder, but I don't, I don't know. I feel like it just, it's hard to get on a brush. It doesn't really work well with my fingers. And then this highlight is a little too gold for me. So again, I'm going to pass this on and maybe see if my mom wants to try it out or uh, my sister. So that's what I'm going to do with this. Unfortunately, I mean, I wish I liked it better because it is Natasha Denona, but I just, this wasn't really a product for me that I see myself wanting to reach for or using consistently enough to keep in my collection. Another item that I am ready to part ways with is this Sigma Eyeshadow Primer Stick. I got this, I think, as like a free gift with purchase, maybe around Black Friday. So I just picked like this neutral shade, but I just find that I don't really like this formula. Also, I can't get the lid off. And it's just a little too like hard and dry. Like, of course, it looks fine there, but I don't know. I just prefer, prefer more of like a liquid eyeshadow primer. This, you know, you got to either warm it up on your hands or if you draw this directly in their eyes then you gotta like take time like patting it in and I just feel like that's an extra step that I'm not really interested in so I'm ready to kind of pass this on and especially since it was a free gift with purchase I don't really feel that bad about it and I've literally only swatched it and like used it a handful of times so I would feel comfortable passing this on to a family member if they wanted to try it. I also have over on the side here this little pack of eye patches. This is super expired, so I'm going to throw these away and just get these out of the drawer. In this back container, I have like some lip glosses and more like liquid lipstick type items. So two things I have back here were from the Makeup Revolution Friends collection, and I have the Monica like lip gloss combo pack. This one I just think is way too like skin toned and light for me. It just, I don't know, watch, just watch it. Like it looks fine there, but I think it just ends up looking really, really washed out on my lips. So I think this I'm ready to let go of and pass on. I don't really reach for it. And when I do, I just don't like the way it looks. The other one I'm going to keep, this is more like a brown a brown neutral but I'm gonna keep this through the winter and see how I feel about it because I don't really have a lot of lip glosses that provide like actual color so I am gonna keep that one but I'm gonna get rid of the other one that was in this set for another lip product that I'm ready to get rid of it is this lipstick from Stila in the shade Emma I got this so many years ago I believe from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls and it's just a super pink color like it's you can kind of tell that it would be pretty pink based on the label but here it is swatched and it is like a, a nice consistency like a nice wash of color but again this color pink it's so light that I feel like it just kind of washes washes out on my face and doesn't really go with my skin tone very well like it would maybe go with like really specific makeup looks but I just don't ever pull this out to use because I don't ever really like the way it ends up looking. So I'm ready to get rid of this as well. I think the last thing I'm going to pull from this drawer to get rid of is kind of like a big ticket item. It's back here. It is my Cody Airspun powder. Now I do still really like this powder. This is just incredibly old. I know I've had this this is made it through, I think, three different moves with me, like two apartments and now the condo I live in. So I know I've had this for over, well over five, six, seven years at this point, probably closer to seven. So I just think that it is so old that it's probably time to just get rid of it. I also don't find myself reaching for loose powders very often. I also know a lot of people feel like this powder specifically has a very, very strong smell. It's never really irritated me before, but I feel like if I was going to purchase a loose powder for something, I would maybe get one from like e.l.f. or I think CoverGirl has one that's supposed to be really nice. 
So I just think it's time to pass this on. This is super affordable if it's something that you want to try. This is, you know, I actually don't know anymore. It used to be like four or five dollars at the drugstore. I'm sure it's a little pricier now, but I mean, it's probably closer to like seven or eight. It's under ten dollars. So it's it's a pretty good you get a lot in here for the price. But as I said, this is just incredibly old at this point and I just need to get rid of it. So this is everything that I am decluttering this time around. I know it doesn't look like a ton, but I think it's still good to do a small declutter every couple of months, especially, you know, this past time when I did a shop my stash video, I was kind of already looking at like this in my really crowded drawer and being like, you know what, I don't really care if this stays around or not. And then things like this that really just need to go because they're old and when things do get super, super expired, you probably don't want to be putting them on your face or near your eyes. So just a handful of things that I'm going to be getting rid of. And just to be super transparent, because this always bothers me in other makeup and beauty influencer videos, they always say they're going to pass it on or whatever. I'm just going to be real. Like this is going in the trash. This is going in the trash. This is going in the trash. This is going in the trash because of how old it is. These things, these four things, I will see if my mom or my sister might want to use because I feel like these are still okay. I only feel comfortable passing them on to family, but beyond that, if they don't want them, I will just be tossing them because they have, you know, touched my face. I've had them for, you know, over a year, some of them, maybe not this one. So just to be transparent, these I will be seeing if someone else wants to use. These have to just go in the trash, which is unfortunate. So Thank you for watching today's video. I know that was kind of a smaller declutter, but like I said, I do that every, you know, three to four months, maybe every six months. So it's not always a huge declutter, but I think that's just more risk realistic and just real life. Also, be sure to go watch last week's video if you want to enter to win a giveaway with some brand new makeup, not decluttered makeup, brand new makeup. I have a giveaway going that is still live. It will be live until July 31st. So check out last week's video. All the info about the giveaway will also be in the description box below. Give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.